The luck of the Irish has certainly proved the case for Joe Biden, who will become America's 46th president today after dreaming of the win for three decades in politics. But following a turbulent rise to the presidency, he will finally be handed the keys to the White House today. His, co his cousin, Loretta Blewett, joins us now from County Mayo in Ireland to tell us all about his Irish roots and reveal a few secrets from inside the White House. Now, good morning, Loretta. So nice to see you here today. Morning, guys. How are you? Very well. Good thanks. morning. Now, it was it was a bit of a bumpy start. We had to wait quite a while for him to officially be named as the next president. How did you feel that moment when it was finally done? Um, it was absolutely incredible. We were here watching it on the Saturday evening, I think it was, if I can remember correctly, and uh, just picked up the phone and rang the Biden family straight away. I was so excited and sad to not be there, but... Um, it's just, uh, it's an amazing experience and great feeling. And did you speak to uh, the president-elect? Uh, not on that day, but I have spoke to him since. Um, so obviously he's uh, very proud of his achievements and uh, not sure if he's as proud as us, though. We're, we're very proud, proud here in County Mayo, for sure. I bet you are. Um, and you just said there, sad to miss out, because in normal times you'd be able to fly over there and go to the inauguration, but that's just not possible. No, it's not. Uh, I got a phone call from his secretary the other day to say my invitation was sitting on the desk over there. Did I want to post it over? I said, yeah, I suppose. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll have it maybe to put up on the on the wall and, and, and look back at it. I can imagine in 20 years' time that I was there um, when I see the invitation. Oh, okay. There will definitely be other celebrations that you as a family can all take part in, I'm absolutely sure, over the next four years. So, um, he came over to County Mayo in, was it 2016 when you when you saw him first? Yeah, he came over as the vice president. Um, it was a really um, surreal experience, I suppose. Uh, everybody in the in the whole of the land here in Ireland wanted to meet him, and we were very privileged to have a private lunch with him and his family. Um, all my family, all his family, we all met together and had lunch, and we got to sit down for about two or three hours together, have a lovely chat and catch up. And when he was leaving, the White House did a video of his trip and he said it was like uh, just uh, meeting each other again for the 20th time they'd had with with such a, a close relationship and just got on very naturally he's a he, he comes across uh, privately just as as sincere and kind as he does publicly and i think his speech last night in delaware just just shows how much of a a great man he is absolutely and so he came to visit you and then invited you back to the white house so you went you got the pass, you were even able to have a big old snoop around. What did you find? I certainly did. It was excellent. Uh, I remember Do uh, it was about this, around this week, four years ago, that we got to go. Um, and uh, it was brilliant. Got through security and they were like, OK, enjoy your time at the White House. So I was, I was heading over to the front door that you see uh, in, the, in the pictures all the time. And then uh, we were brought back to the West Wing, where, of course, his office was as vice president okay. and the Oval Office, where the president's office are. So um, this time I'll be able to go to the Oval Office. The last day I had to just walk past it because there was security there. And um, it was amazing getting to go to the Rose Garden that we see so many pictures of um, on the media. So to be there in real time was just extra special. I love the fact that, um, you know, you people who go to the White House, you're all going to be interested in sort of different things. You went with your brother, who's a plumber. And so, uh, so he was interested in the plumbing. <laughs> He was missing for a while. I was like, where did you go to? He said, oh, I was just checking out what the toilets are like in the White House. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, uh. I'm not sure if he's part of a plumbing WhatsApp group or what, but I think a lot of the <laughs> pictures of the That's sister, amazing. Um, uh, and the it must feel pretty good that you've got Biden there who's got this extraordinary job ahead of him, and yet he's very, very proud of his Irish roots. And, and you said that he's been raised with real Irish values, and that really shines through. It's, it's so important to him and it's not something that has just arisen because of the election. Um, you know, he talks so strongly about his Irish roots continuously, um, how his grandmother used to speak Irish to him, how his mother brought him up with such, such strong Irish values. And uh, he is just very, very proud of them. And you see that at every occasion he gets to speak in public. He always has a little Irish reference here or there somewhere. So it's it's uh, it's brilliant for him. Um, we're so proud that he continues to repeat his uh, Mayo links where we are, of course, here in County in the west of Ireland. Ireland. And uh, yeah, it's it's something that's real to him and, and to his whole family. And we're just uh, 
I think there's going to be a strong Irish link with the uh, inauguration today as well. Lots of Irish music and uh, more if there could have been. But uh, unfortunately, we'll, we'll have to keep that until maybe St. Patrick's Day this year or next year. Well, I, won't, yeah. I don't think it'll be very long before uh, the, the president uh, comes to comes to see you. <laughs> uh, but listen, you know, everybody has their critics. He has his critics. Um, and it has been said that he's too old. He's not mentally or... Um, physically competent how do you react to that as a family um i think it's utter nonsense um we we you know you see american politicians are a lot older than we have say politicians here in ireland and the uk i mean nancy pelosi is 80 years of age she is the speaker of the uh, the senate um i don't think that that's really relevant you see it in all walks of of um American life in terms of every job that they have, they stay on until they're maybe well into their 80s. Um, Joe's been a politician practically all his life. And um, he obviously was a senator since he was 29 years of age. He served two terms as a vice president. He's very competent and he is a natural born politician. So I think that's just uh, right wing nonsense. I think that all came about, about because he was running against Donald Trump. And, you know, Donald was taking any opportunity he could to uh, slag him off. And, you know, don't forget as well, Joe Biden has overcome such adversity in his life. Uh, firstly, as a child, uh, being bullied for having a stammer, and uh, it's a major part of his life and it has formed him. Even the way he speaks now, I sat with, I work for the Mayo Roscommon Hospice here in Mayo uh, in fundraising. And in 2017, when he left office, he came over and turned the sod on the Mayo Hospice for us, which was a massive thing to do because his son, Bo, died from cancer in 2015. And I sat with him in the Jeep on the way over to make his speech, and he was putting lines through all his sentences. And I said to him, what are you doing? And he said, because I have a stammer, he said, I have to, you know, uh, space out my sentences to make sure that I don't, you know, my, my stutter doesn't wow. get reintroduced again. Um, and when he stalls and we stop, People say, oh, he, f he forgets what he's going to say. It's just cheap talk and it's nasty. That's oh. not the way it is. And anyone who has a stammer will tell you the difficulty yeah. you have when you're speaking in public. And to think that he's now become the president after three times, this is his third time trying to do that. The adversity he's had to overcome with his wife and daughter dying in a horrific car accident. And his two boys were in hospital for almost a year. Um, and then his son, Bo, dying from cancer in 2015. He has overcome such adversity in his life. And, you know, it's just utter nonsense to say that he's not um, up for the job. Of that's course he's a, up for the job. That's he's stammer. going to the Senate today to pass something like 10 bills or something. So he's ready to go. He's the, ready. Uh, the, the, the stammer uh, and overcoming that uh, and coping with it and all these coping me mechanisms, um, that's going to be such a massive inspiration to many young people around the world who are having to sort that out in their own heads. I think so. Um, I think we take for granted. Um, I do a podcast here in Ireland, the Tommy and Hector show with Larita. You guys are presenters. You know, it's easy to talk in public. But if you have a stammer, it is a serious, um, I suppose, handicap. And it's very, very difficult for people to overcome that. And he has taken children and talked talk to them and talk to them how to get over it and given them some little uh, tips that he has used to overcome it. And, you know, it, it should be an inspiration to so many. And if you, you know, YouTube some of his videos talking about it, it really, really is um, a strong story to tell. And, um, you know, even the fact that he's had, you know, failed twice previously to become the president mm. and then um, is now being sworn in today as the 46th president. It is huge. Well, the and eyes of the world will be on him today. That's for sure. What a day it is for him and for your family as well. Um, Lorita, it's really great to talk to you today. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Enjoy Thank the you. day. Thank you. Thank well, you. Piers, Piers had the monopoly on Trump, uh, so uh, so any interviews going, it was always Piers that uh, that got them because he was so close to him. So um, so let's just say now, no, we know Joe Biden's cousin. So uh, you know, <laughs> if he's if he wants to chat, then we'd love to we'd love to have a word with him. <laughs> Great stuff, guys. Maybe when I go to the White House, I can do a little live link from the maybe from the bathroom for you. <laughs> yeah, take your brother. Take your brother. <laughs> Thank you.